Good morning, buenos dias, and welcome to the Cheech, okay? Hoy ganan los artistas. Y cuando los artistas ganan, el arte gana. Y cuando el arte gana, la humanidad gana. I am Paul Granillo, president of the Riverside Art Museum Board of Trustees and president and CEO of the Inland Empire Economic Partnership. And I get to serve today as your master of ceremonies. On behalf of the Riverside Art Museum Board of Trustees and staff, welcome to this incredible moment that we've been waiting for for five years. The civic dedication of the Cheech Marine Center for Chicano Art and Culture of the Riverside Art Museum. The Riverside Art Museum respectfully acknowledges and recognizes our responsibility to the original and current caretakers of this land, water and air, the Cahuilla, the Tongva, the Luceno, and the Serrano peoples, and all of their ancestors and descendants, past, present, and future. We express our gratitude to them for allowing us the opportunity to live and work on these homelands. This center, the Cheech Marin Center for Chicano Art and Culture, is a public-private partnership between the Riverside Art Museum, renowned comedian, actor, and Chicano art collector, Cheech Marin, and the city of Riverside, the city of arts and innovation. I would like to recognize the elected officials here today uh, that have joined us uh, from R Riverside County's District uh, 1, Supervisor Kevin Jeffries. Riverside County Supervisor, District 2, Karen Spiegel. The Mayor of Riverside, Patricia Locke Dawson. Riverside Ward, Run, Ward 1, City Council Member, Aaron Edwards. Riverside Ward 2, City Council Member, Clarissa Cervantes. Ward 3, City Councilman, Ronaldo Fiero. <laughs> Ward 5, City Council Member, Gabriela Placencia. <laughs> Ward 6, City Council Member, Jim Perry. <laughs> Ward 7, City Council Member, Steve Hemingway. And Ward 4 Council Member Chuck Condor is flying back from Washington, D.C., so he couldn't be, what, but we acknowledge him. We want to thank all of our education partners. Uh, the Riverside Art Museum has deep relationships with our education partners. So would the members of the Education Committee, uh, Community please stand so we can uh, thank you for being here. And look at this building. Right? Right? Look at this building. We are grateful to Paige and Turnbull with Y Architects, who have beautifully designed and carefully adapted this historic new formalist style building for the Cheech. And the many thanks to the, Rivers, to the city of Riverside for managing the project and allowing us to use this center. We acknowledge the work of Hamill Contracting that they have done, and we thank the many skilled laborers who have been working early and late hours to build this beautiful center. Can we thank all of them? We want to thank uh, Northgate Gonzalez Market for donating um, our reception this morning. Thank you, all of you in the back. And Cheech, it's phenomenal. Thank you. I want to thank my fellow board members who have worked uh, really hard uh, together with the staff to, to make this happen. Uh, we want to ask, we want to thank the, those that uh, worked on the opening celebrations, and they include Jennifer Razo, uh, Michelle Willette, George Ortiz, uh, Ophelia Valdez-Jager, 
And uh, we want to thank Chuck. Where's Chuck? Chuck, thank you for all the work that you did to get us where we are today. And I also want to thank my predecessor, Adam Guskowski. Adam, where are you? Thank you, Adam. Will all the members of the Riverside Board of Trustees, Art Museum Board of Trustees, please stand. And believe it or not, I'm seeing some of you for the first time, right? <laughs> we want to thank our honorary committee who supported this project. Uh, those members include Assemblyman Jose Medina, Lalo Alcaraz, Culture Clash, Mayor Dawson, Locke Dawson, Eduardo Diaz, Michael Govan, uh, Dolores Huerta, George Lopez, and Robert Rodriguez. Can we thank them? Now, there's some people here who are on the staff of the Riverside Art Museum in the Cheech that haven't slept in like a month. So the staff of the Riverside Art Museum in Cheech, I know you're probably not sitting, but can you guys wave, stand, wave, so we can thank you. <laughs> also want to recognize the staff of the city of Riverside. If you're here, please stand and wave so we can thank you. Okay, so I started my opening remarks in Spanish. And I did that uh, in respect to the parents and the grandparents and the great-grandparents of uh, whose, whose story is so much a part of the Chicano story, okay? But if you did, don't speak Spanish, what I said is, today the artists win. And when the artists win, art wins. And when art wins, humanity wins. Welcome to the Cheech. It is a real pleasure for me to introduce Maria Esther Fernandez, who is the artistic director of the Cheech. Hello. First of all, I'm thrilled to welcome all of you to this incredible new center. Isn't it amazing? It's just amazing. Um, I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to share this momentous occasion with all of you. Uh, the Chicanx community has been waiting far too long for a space like this. Our community has been central in building this region, our state, and the country. Our con our Contributions to the economy, infrastructure, agriculture, and virtually every other facet of this country have often gone unrecognized. But today, today we celebrate the Chicanx community for generations of cultural and artistic production. Thank you. Today, today we'll be thanking many folks that helped make the center possible. I'd like to take a moment to thank some critical people behind the scenes that contributed in essential ways. Our community partners that helped plan opening celebrations, city staff that worked on permits, event parking, putting up cones, um, other construction needs to help us get us to the finish line. Um, they've become friends. I'd especially like to thank the custodians, gardeners, the trade, security staff, food service, Food service, all the volunteers that came from throughout our region. Thank you, thank you. Your work, like so many in our community, often goes unseen and unacknowledged, but it is vital to all of us. We at RAM take great pride in being a small but very efficient team that does anything and everything needed. Um, I'm proud to be a new member of this team. I say that I have come for the last 100 yards. Um, I love you all. You've become family. Um, I especially want to thank our preparators who um, single-handedly, <laughs> Eric and Alexander, put up six shows um, in two venues. I, I think I got that wrong. It might be closer to nine. <laughs> I'm not sure. I lost track. But our visitor service associates, our programming and event staff, um, thank you. Thank you. I'm so proud to be a part of this team. Um, now I want to talk about Cheech and the Cheech. 
Um, so there's Cheech and the Cheech. Uh, a passionate collector, Cheech Marin, has spent the past 40 years assembling one of the most influential collections of Chicanx art. With dogged determination, Marin challenged institutions to reckon with their historical exclusion of this art. In, in doing so, he boldly asserted that Chicano art must be central to any understanding of American art. With the creation of the Cheech comes a world of new possibilities, a dedicated space for the collection to grow, to fully represent the complexity of Chicanx artistic production, a space where we can explore new ways of engaging communities more equitably, to advance art historical scholarship and museum practice, to support artists and engage other artistic communities, and most importantly, a space for community engagement, bridging the rich legacies of the past, present, and future. We are so excited as we open the doors to the Cheech, where visitors will make their own connections with the work and be able to better understand themselves, their community, and the world. It will be a dynamic space for intergenerational dialogue and exchange. We are grateful for Cheech's vision and commitment to bringing all of this to life. We hope you will make the Cheech a home for artistic and cultural exploration because we have so much more to come. Our work is just beginning. Thank you. Thank you, Esther. Um, this wouldn't be possible without people who stepped up to make it possible. And uh, we need to thank o o Ophelia Valdez Yeager for her hard work as our campaign chair. Ophelia. <laughs> Before I start, I want to tell Sue Mitchell I was wearing I love Cheech button. They made me remove it because of the video. <laughs> so, Sue, I'm sorry. Good morning, everyone. Um, we have been on a relatively short journey together. And I must say, this campaign, I don't want to, you know, someone asked me how it feels now at the end. It feels like I've been pregnant for five years. <laughs> so now I'm going to cry because I'm going to have the baby. Okay, it's unique because we went public with a vision before any money was raised, and we ultimately raised $14.5 million with the support of so many of you here today. Our first major milestone arrived when Assemblymember Jose Medina's leadership led to a $1 million allocation of the California State Funds for the Cheech in June of 2017. It was very significant as it made a large dent in the $3 million in funds required per the MOU between the City of Riverside, Riverside Art Museum, and Cheech Marin in the first year. Additionally, in 2018, Assemblymember Medina sponsored another bill and led outreach for an additional $9.7 million allocation of California state funds for the Cheech. We are now in the Sala Jose Jaime Medina, the name is over here, to honor his commitment to the project. Thank you to the city of Riverside and the county of Riverside for their continued support of this regional economic resource. We also want to thank Altura Credit Union for being the first corporate sponsor to step forward in 2018 with a $600,000 commitment. You can see the Altura Credit Union Community Gallery right here in front of the center. This gallery will exhibit work from artists and curators from the Inland Empire community. Altura Credit Union chose this gallery to bear their name as it reflects Altura's 60 plus years working in Riverside County and their commitment to community and cultural enrichment through the arts. In addition to our first corporate sponsor, we always we want to thank Todd Wingate and the Wingate Foundation. He's over there and he doesn't want to be seen. We thank him for being the first private foundation to commit to the campaign. On the second floor, you can enjoy the De La Torre Brothers retrospective in the Wingate Family Gallery. I would also be remiss if I didn't thank Unidos Inc. 
for the collective fundraising that they have done for the Cheech <laughs> Capital Campaign and beyond. Unidos is a collective of community-focused organizations and engaged individuals dedicated to serving the diverse spectrum of the Chicano Latino community in the Inland Empire. They form to work together on initiatives that serve us all beyond the valued niche mission of each group. Unidos and RAM have collaborated on several successful fundraisers for the Cheech over the last three years. Unidos' effort netted $400,000 for the Cheech, and with a gala tomorrow, will net hundreds of thousands of dollars more. And the Unidos Gallery showcasing Cheech's collection is on the first floor over here. And if you all go to the gala and bid a lot of money on the stuff, we'll get a lot more money. Okay, and we thank Bank of America for their $750,000 commitment to the project. You need to know that that is the largest amount of money granted by B of A in this region. And you can see Cheech's phenomenal collection in the Bank of America gallery. U.S. Bank donated $150,000 to uh, sponsor the bank, excuse me, the video gallery, which is upstairs. This video gallery is created to support students, emerging filmmakers, and digital media artists in the Inland Empire. Thank you to them too, U.S. Bank. A very passionate group that organized events and raised money for the Cheech is Cultura Coñantas, led by Jorge Hernandez. They organized lowrider events such as the annual Pachuco Ball, the Tres Reyes Mago celebration at Ram, and other cultural events. You gotta go to the Pachuco Ball, August 20th. I couldn't end my remarks without mentioning the many smaller contributions we have received from this community. One example is the financial pledges made by one of our dearest residents, Morris Mendoza. Morris pledged $600 on behalf of two groups, the Casablanca Community Action Group and the local VFW chapter based in Casablanca. He promised to pay $100 per year for three years for each group. And Morris believed in the vision and could see what the Cheech would mean for our local community. Morris honored his commitment, but unfortunately, Morris died of COVID and is not with us to celebrate, but we will always be inspired by his generosity and commitment. <clears throat> The greater community came together early on to provide critical input in, as the development of the center was coming together. And they also were inspired to pledge financially at various levels because we provide a layaway plan. The world has been challenged with the uncertainties of COVID and we are no different. Our small staff, led by the excellent leadership of our executive director, Drew Oberjergi, weathered many storms, but they, with the positive support of our board of directors, has stubbornly pushed through the many spikes in the road to finally bring us to this historic day in Riverside. We are not poised to begin a new journey, and with the added expertise of Maria Esther Fernandez, our new artistic director of the Cheech, one that will elevate Riverside and our whole region to an exciting new level, I invite you to join us as we begin the next step in our journey together. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your hard work, Ophelia. Uh, it's now my pleasure to invite Supervisor Jeffries and Supervisor Spiegel to come forward to present a proclamation from the County of Riverside. So my first question was going to be, how many of you should have come with your arm in a sling today to reflect the amount of arm twisting that went on to make sure that a lady dressed in pink got what she wanted? 
you did a great job. Everybody did a great job. Before Supervisor Spiegel and I get into the technicalities of the whereases and stuff that hopefully we won't go through, um, I just wanted to say that of all the ways to describe this facility, to describe this man, uh, there are lots of you know innovations and renaissance and all those fancy words, but the one that really comes to mind, it's just cool. It's just cool. You bring cool to here, so. Supervisor Spiegel. This sits in our district and it's been an honor to watch it grow. And thank you, Drew and Ophelia, for, for calling me and say, come get a tour. Did anybody have an opportunity to come during the time it was being built or remodeled? It is such an awe to see the integrity of trying to save certain walls and certain spaces and trying to reach the artistic of just the body of the building, let alone the art that came into it. And I think that's what makes this extra special for the entire community, is it is an incredible historical place, but it's also a cool place. <laughs> and so on behalf of Riverside County, I have to first thank Ophelia. I mean, you, that's how I met you. <laughs> this dynamo who full force comes at you and says, this will happen didn't have any funding, didn't have a whole lot other than the relationship with Cheech, but she says, this is gonna happen. So if there's anything you want done, I know the person that can get it done. <laughs> Are we giving the five to you guys? All right, so we're gonna present this to them on behalf of all five members of the Board of Supervisors. Congratulations for the hard work and effort that everybody has done. Thank you. So we're in the Cheech, but there is another kind of person that goes by one name, right? And none of this, none of this could have been possible um, without the work that she did and the days and nights and all of the weekends uh, that she uh, worked in order to bring uh, this to reality. Um, Drew, come on up. Thank you, every, thank you, everyone. Um, honestly, this couldn't have been done without all of the people who've been thanked and recognized. And I have more people to thank and recognize. Uh, Redland City Council member Denise Davis is here with us today. Denise. Riverside Community College District Trustee Area Mary Figueroa. Riverside Unified School Board President Brent Lee. Moreno Valley Unified School District President, Jesus Holquin. And on behalf of the entire staff and board, I'd like to thank and recognize the past presidents of the Riverside Art Museum who've been on this incredible journey with us and said yes to this incredible project. Tim Maloney, past president, 2016-2017, Tim. <laughs> Lucille Arnson, past president, 2017-2018. Wendell Tucker, past president, 2018-2019. Michelle Wheelett, past president, 2019-2020. Adam Guzkowski, president, 2020-2021. And of course, our current board president, Paul Granillo. Thank you. 
Esther shared, and Paul did too, how hard the Riverside Art Museum staff works. I'm one of an incredible team, and as executive director, I owe so much to our incredible team. Um, you know, the staff has worked on this project during five years, which is a relatively short time to launch a new center, particularly when half of that time is during a global pandemic, when museums across the nation were closed and experienced significant revenue losses. The staff at the Riverside Art Museum with Ingenuity has continued to meet the moment with new ideas, ideas and leaning into our mission to engage, inspire, and build community through the arts while working to unpack systems and structures that have historically marginalized people of color. We, along with museums across the country, are reworking to rebuild our organization as a much more just and inclusive one that decenters the predominant anglo euro culture that has dominated the museum industry since its inception. I know I'm not alone in speaking that this project has been a ray of light in dark times and has motivated all of us staff to be here at this moment. Ram staff, please again stand and wave and be recognized for the incredible work that you've done. I would also like to thank the James Irvine Foundation for their invest in initial investment into our museum work to do this work to serve New California, what they called their new effort. This support gave us time with trustees to ask challenging questions about our work, to think strategically, and to dream with community partners what could be. During this time, the importance of building relationships, friendships, simple human-to-human -human connection was so critical to an organization's success. I am personally grateful for the new friendships that I have made and those that the organization has. We have developed strong relationships that have resulted in new board members, new staff, new donors, new artists, and new guests. We have learned so much and know that we can do better. And we believe centers and museums, places like this, are a chance for people to come together and to understand different perspectives and experiences and together create a pathway forward particularly during these polarizing times. We know that the Cheech will continue to foster our learning about new curatorial and collections management practices to further equity and inclusion, and that learning will benefit our, or, our programs across our organization. RAM will also learn and develop as we continue to support governance, administrative, financial, marketing, and fund development needs of the Cheech. After nearly 70 years of uninterrupted, uninterrupted mission-driven work, we are, we are committed to move forward. It's humbling being here today with the artists whose work graces our walls. We will work to ensure that your legacy continues on. We'd like to thank the City of Riverside for your investment into the annual operating and programming costs to allow us to continue this critical work. The Cheech is a testament to civic entrepreneurialism organized around an unshakable vision for a better future, that Chicano art must be given its due place in museums, and that art museums must rebuild their systems and structures to be more just and inclusive. This is a vision that Cheech has held for over 20 years as he knocked on the doors of museums across the country advocating for art. Thank you so much, Cheech, and thank you all for being here today to celebrate. At Cheech said, like Cheech says, this project is like a house falling from the sky. It can't be stopped. Thank you. Thank you, Drew. As Drew says, uh, the city of Riverside is an incredible partner in this. And so it's my pleasure to welcome the mayor of Riverside, Patricia Lock Dawson. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Anticipation, right? Isn't it sweet? Anticipation, it's delicious, right? It's the feeling you get when you know something good is going to happen. You all know that feeling. I know you do. When you, you know you're going to get to savor an experience. It's, it's just really delicious. That's the excitement I'd feel as a young girl, when my mom would announce to my brothers and sisters and me, we're going to the library. I know, we didn't have much money. <laughs> it was exciting. But that meant coming here to this iconic building 
where I could surround myself with stories, where I could imagine myself living in the walls of a house with the little family. Anybody remember that one? Or building a little house on the prairie. I could be someone else for a day. I could immerse myself in the fantasy world around me. But little could I have imagined then that I could experience that same level of excitement, of anticipation coming to this location today. It's just magic. And little could I know that now other children will get to feel that same excitement. How will they feel when they stand in front of this great lenticular or see themselves, their friends, their families reflected in the artwork around them? Imagine their excitement when their mom announces, we're going not to the library, but to the Cheech. And we have Cheech to thank for this gift. This immersive experience for a whole new generation of Riversiders and beyond, so that they too can immerse themselves in a new world of art and fantasy. Other speakers have mentioned this, but you know, for centuries, museums have played an integral role in preserving the history of our society. Arts, objects, artifacts tell us stories about how our nation, our communities, and our cultures came to be. And without them, these stories would be forgotten. The progression and preservation of our society has depended on museums for centuries. But our generation now must ask, who are these museums for? Who is the arbiter and curator of the stories that are told, of the history preserved? We are now the generation that must ask uncomfortable questions about museums themselves, about their foundations around class and race. And today in Riverside, we're privileged at this moment in our nation's history to change an enduring narrative, an appropriate moment to share stories of the Chicano movement, injustice, struggle, inequity, but ultimately triumph through art and community. Today, Riverside shows the world what a museum of the 21st century can be, a fundamental reimagining. And the Cheech will bring together in a literal way through public events, workshops, and lectures, but more important, by unifying us through a common experience. So my mother would be so proud, so excited to announce to us today we're going to the Cheech. And on behalf of Riverside, <clears throat> you're now museum rich. If anybody read the New York Times article, you'll get that reference. I present Cheech Marin with the key to our city as we usher in a weekend of celebration. I would have been satisfied with half a key, you know? <laughs> so how do you like stoner art now? <laughs> um, <clears throat> yesterday, yesterday, uh, stories about the Cheech were on the front page of the art sections of the New York Times, the LA Times, the Riverside Press Enterprise, <laughs> which is the most important one. <laughs> um, uh, for, uh, big stories in art news and uh, so a, a bunch of other ones that uh, I've, uh, I've forgotten right now because they were yesterday. And 
you know, it's too long a period to remember. Um, uh, we have made a mark uh, because of your generosity. Uh, <clears throat> I like this, boy. <laughs> this, is, this is a good, this is a murder weapon. You know, so like this. So that's, you know, uh, it's been five years since uh, 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 John Russo, who was a uh, city manager at the time, came to me and, 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 and informed me of this offer to, to do this, this at a building. Uh, there's uh, um, an opportunity to do, have a museum here. And, and at first I didn't understand what he was talking about. He want me to buy a museum? Well, like, like uh, Patricia said, that well, I'm 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 doing okay, but I don't know if I'm doing museum rich, you know. But, but uh, no, no, we want to give you the building for the collection to house the collection, so everybody can see it for perpetuity. Okay, I can do that, I, it was, as long as I understand that's what it is. Uh, I have never seen. Uh, I've been in a, a lot of projects throughout the years, but I've never seen a community come together and support an opportunity uh, ever like this that, that is, uh, the city of Riverside and the Indian Empire has accomplished. You should be very proud of yourselves for doing that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've struggled for a long time to get my, my picture on the front page of the New York Times, man, but, <laughs> but, but it happened finally because of this. Uh, we hope that this, this uh, um, building and this collection and this participation of the of the community will be a beacon for everybody else around the country to finally uh, redefine in inclusion and now it is going to be embodied in a place that they can come to at night uh, and read the sign. That's, that's the one that got me. We, uh, we were uh, at the Los Lobos concert a couple weeks ago and, and, and Todd and said, hey, well, let's walk by the Chicha on the way home to uh, uh, the, the hotel. I said, no, okay, well, but, and, this, and then the, there it was, the sign. It was the sign, it was, it was lit up, you know? And like, because I was always looking for a sign in this whole pro prospect, uh, this project. Uh, am I supposed to do this? And I didn't, I, just, I have to give the whole collection? I need a sign. <laughs> Not that kind of sign, I just need a sign from above. You know, it's just, am I doing the right thing? And uh, 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 some person came up to me that, uh, one day and I asked, well, how, how big is this building? And they said, it's 61,420 square feet. 420. <laughs> Thank you for the sign. It was meant to be, and everybody that I talked to in these intervening five years, he says, yes, it was meant to be, it was meant to be. And, and, and it's a belief system, I mean, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and I believe, and I hope that the rest of the community and the Inland, I can say this word, uh, Inland Empire uh, will, will believe and carried on that belief to their children, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren. Uh, all mine were here. <laughs> here yesterday, and uh, uh, they've seen uh, the, the, the collection in various places, but they were really awed by this. That is, I am awed by this. Uh, to have an entire building uh, turned over and dedicated to the promotion of, of a part of culture that has been uh, thoroughly neglected for a long time, but now is represented, and they come to Riverside to do that. You know, and that's a, that's a big deal. <laughs> And I couldn't be prouder of anything I've ever done uh, in, in my career in life and, and to be standing here and accept the, uh, the key <laughs> to the city. Wow, this is a big one. Uh, there is going to go into a prominent pace, place in my, in my house. Uh, to get to, and, and the feeling that you get from the community coming together, to gather together, the strength that I, I know that everybody in this audience feels right now. Uh, it is, it is an empowering position, an empowering feeling, like you were saying before. It is, and as we go forward, and, and we can bring uh, uh, 
our relatives, our friends, any casual acquaintances, as, as we become an international destination, and we're going to work on that from this day forward to become an international destination so that people from France and Germany and Japan and Australia can come to the Riverside Art Museum and, and behold the teach because it's supposed to happen because we had a sign. We had a sign. <laughs> I wish the address was 420, you know. <laughs> but I want to thank everybody in this community uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for uh, uh, the, the possibility of, of, of changing the narrative in this country uh, regarding art. And that's what we're doing. I thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the civic opening of the Cheech. And so I need you to help me right now, okay? So we're going to make our way over to uh, the, uh, the facsimile of the plaque that's going to be uh, on the wall. So I, the mayor, Cheech, and the city council, if you could join me over there. And everybody just stay seated so we can take a picture. Ladies and gentlemen, after they take this picture at the plaque and in the unveiling of the plaque, our civic dedication will be complete. And you are all welcome to continue to enjoy the refreshments from Northgate Gonzalez Markets as well as self-explore the uh, Cheech here and upstairs galleries. Members of the news media, we will be bringing Cheech Marin and Maria Esther Fernandez, our artistic director, back up here to the podium for a Q&A with you. Any questions you'd like, you can position yourselves up here as needed. We will keep the sound on. So we will do that the minute the unveiling is done. Thank you.